Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter. We're here at the Gloucester Marine Railways, and it's a really nice, sunshiny December day. And uh, as you can see, we've uh, finished planking the bulwarks now, and all we've got left to do now is to paint and to do the trim work. We've got to cut down the edges. There's some fancy work that goes from the uh, rail cap down to the other part of the rail cap, and we've got to cut those in and finish painting with a little caulking, and basically we're done with the side of the ship at this point. And uh, let's take a look back and see how we got there. Well, since the last episode, we've had a lot of work going on on the bulwarks here. Uh, we've planked it up from the deck level. This is the covering board. This is the deck on the other side of here. And we planked it up to the uh, molding. Uh, this molding is a traditional molding. And we've recreated it by making two layers of, of, uh, of trim here, uh, one mounted on top of the other one. In this area here will be another narrow plank that will be inset slightly, and then the rail cap. Uh, we trimmed off all of those stanchions, all even, and with a uh, tenon, which will fit into the mortise that will be on the bottom of the rail cap. We're on deck of the beaver here, and as you can see, the bulwarks really start to define the, uh, the shape of the uh, vessel. Uh, we've got uh, the stanchions from the inside here, the covering boards that we've showed you, and now, of course, we've built up all the planking on the bulwarks. So this is basically what it's going to look like from the inside. Uh, there'll be a rail cap that will go along the whole length of the top of that and will step up as we come up to the uh, more decorative parts up forward. As you can see, we built the bulwarks up with that heart pine planking. Uh, in between here, we have an oak uh, trim piece. This double coal molding is quite traditional and existed on the ships for oh, a couple of hundred years at least. And this piece here is called a hance, and this will be topped off with the rail cap. And as you can see, we've already cut all the tenons in here, and they will be fit into the mortises on the underside of the rail cap. Dave is installing this hance, and what we have to do is we have to kind of dog these uh, planks down. They're a little bit edge set, and so we have to push them down to fit the uh, molding that's underneath there. Uh, after he gets that set, we'll come along and we'll drill uh, for the fasteners, and they'll be countersunk and spiked into here. My name is uh, Dave Kenyon. I've been with this project for about a month now, and uh, this is generally what we're doing. We're uh, going ahead and doing the bulwarks on this, and uh, hopefully we can get this closed in, and we'll be doing more of the uh, woodwork around here. Well, that's all the time that we have for this episode, but uh, as you can see, we've gotten a lot more work done on the stern, and we've got the trim on, we've got it prime painted, uh, so check with us next time and uh, see what we've been up to.